Hey, it's Brock here with Rock Hill Farms, and I'm out here filming a huge project that's I'm already on day three. I've got at least one more day left, and it's going to be all week trying to put the video together for this, but I think it's really going to be a good one. But I just had something like a, uh, a four-pronged garden rake stab into my tire, and it's a loaded tire, and I'm leaking fluid out. So let's take a look at the tire. I feel kind of fortunate because not too far from here, there's a service station that just does tractor and diesel tires, and they're going to send a truck out, a service truck, to where I'm at, which is in the middle of nowhere, really, and they're going to fix this on spot, and they can even fill it with fluid again on the spot. So I thought that was pretty cool. If the service tech is agreeable, I'm going to film the whole process. Maybe that's helpful to some people. So I'll catch you when the tech gets here. Yeah. Once no, you have to get the mower off. Oh, it's a quick hitch, so it'll only take a minute. So it should just be a matter of letting it down, the three point down. No, it's it'll be it'll be off in just a second here. So are these connected? Or is it just one? And then this is bolted? Yeah, each one's bolted separately. The, the, these two bolts for this one, then under here is the bolt head for the next one, and then under here is the bolt head for the next one. Yeah, I just need to take this front one off. Okay. So this, this, these these are carriage bolts, so it's just those two nuts. Okay. I'm impressed every time I watch a tradesman, whether that's an electrician, a plumber, HVAC, concrete, or tractor tires, because there's a specialized skill set that a lot of people don't have, and some of these trades are being forgotten, or no one wants to take them on, but the work is always going to need done. The tool he's got right there serves two purposes that I could see. One is it removes the valve stem and the other is to add the liquid ballast. They specifically use a bio ballast which means that it's not harmful to the environment if it gets spilled. And if you get a hole in your tire out in a field it's gonna get spilled. So that's a big advantage to that over using antifreeze. It's also heavier. Right now he's just suctioning out the fluid that was still left in this tire. Is that what you were wanting to happen? No. Later he explained to me that the suction can cause that bead to pop off and it doesn't really hurt anything, it doesn't damage the tire. The only downside is that you're wasting that bio ballast.
how many of those four tines went all the way through? All of them, or? Three of them went all the way through. Where is it at? Oh dang, those are long. I had no idea they were that long. Yeah, should go to that one. Go as far as I thought. Is that a cleaner, like a primer? Yeah, it's a pre bulb cleaner. Kind of scraping residue with that. Yep. So that's a, a soap solution you're putting on? Yep, it's our tire compound mounting. Almost, he's putting the tire back on now. It'll still take a little bit longer, bud. It's drying up, yep. If you don't get too close, you can watch. Yeah, but he needs it. Now he's filling the tire with bio ballast again. Something I didn't know about this, but it makes perfect sense if you think about it, is he's pumping that in, and as that pumps fluid in, it compresses the air in the tire. So you wanna be careful about putting it all in at once. So he half fills it, 
Then he reverses it and lets the air out from the top and then finishes filling it. He also showed me that you can tap on the tire with your palm of your hand or a hammer and basically tell where there is and is not fluid, not only by the sound, but by if the tire bounces whenever you hit it. You're listening to, t to tell the difference by ear so or thump it. When you shake it and the tire shakes, really not a whole lot of air in there. So when I saw that poke through the tire, I thought it was gonna be a major ordeal, but it's been less than two hours since the accident happened and it's up and going. So that's good service, but I appreciate you taking time to watch the video. Just a minute, you'll see links on the screen to a couple more of our videos and I'll see you next time.